History made at the state capitol tonight. Minnesota is just one step away from becoming the 12th state to allow same-sex couples to walk down the aisle. I just feel happy and I could not be more proud today. I've, I've waited for this my whole adult life. I've never been able to sign marriage certificates for um, op so same-sex couples and now I can. We are just so happy. This is just the most um, fabulous day that the people have spoke and our elected officials have responded. It's fabulous. The Senate passed the bill that seemed so unlikely just a few months ago. Fox 9's Tim Blotz is outside the Capitol tonight. So, Tim, this passed on a 37 to 30 vote. I mean, pretty close when it actually comes down to it. It really does. In the end, Heidi, this, this bill is very, very simple. What it does is it changes civil marriage in state statute to no longer include a man and a woman, but two persons. And while those two words have deeply divided this state, we've really seen kind of a momentum change here in recent weeks, especially after last Thursday's vote in the House, to the point where supporters packed this Capitol building today, hanging on every word spoken. It was the moment when time no longer stood still. This is what 37 votes looks like. For the chief Senate sponsor, Scott Dibble, it was both a political and personal victory. As a gay man himself, he can now have a legal Minnesota marriage. This is amazing. This is a people's house. This is democracy. People pouring out their passion, the dreams of their entire lives coming true today. But it took a heartfelt debate to get there. On the Senate floor, Republicans and Democrats were as divided as the rest of the state. Members, I think this is a wrong step in history. In my heart of hearts, I know that today love wins. Most people know this is not right. Members, God made gays. And God made gays capable of loving other people, including other persons of the same gender. In the end, perhaps no minds, no votes changed. The Senate stands in recess. The applause drowned out the moment, but not deep divisions in how the bill protects those who are spiritually opposed to same-sex marriage. Well, it only covers a clergy and a church. It doesn't cover things like religious colleges. It doesn't protect uh, groups like the YMCA, YWCA. Supporters argue state law already provides such protections. Make no mistake, there are still divisions, but there's also a celebration of the moment. I actually said I, I want a picture of me with the scoreboard and the scoreboard, the voting board and the background, because it's such a historic day. It's something I'll remember the rest of my life. Now, this bill now awaits the governor's signature. That will happen here on the Capitol steps at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Of course, we will cover that live for you. Afterwards, the city of St. Paul is holding a free concert right down the street at Echolab Plaza. Heidi? Well, Tim, there actually seemed to be a pretty big shift in the crowd that came out to watch all of this today. Yeah, no question about that. You know, what so impressed me last Thursday, Heidi, is how the supporters and opponents were literally standing shoulder to shoulder inside of the Capitol, outside of the House chambers. But after that vote result yesterday, where it passed the House, and it was an uncertain vote amount there, but when that passed, the momentum really changed. Today, it was almost exclusively supporters of this bill. There were a minority, a small group of opponents here. In fact, I talked to one of these gentlemen. He's from a Catholic church down in Forest Lake, and he said, you know, I'm here today to voice my opposition, but Tim, there's, it's really inevitable that we think this is going to pass. And that's exactly what happened in the end, Heidi. All right, both sides of the story, obviously, tonight. Tim Blotz, live at the Capitol. Thanks.